You're watching CBS 12 News in HD. From poverty to performance tonight, CBS 12 Cares goes back to Africa with our teen reporter, Chelsea Cross, the one man changing the lives of children from the Nairobi ghetto. I'm your host, Chelsea Cross. A local teen talk show host wanting to make a difference goes on a mission trip to Africa with her family. This is the second day of the Cross family mission to Africa. And takes along one of our cameras. Tonight, part three of Chelsea Cross' trip to Nairobi, Kenya. She's introducing us tonight to a man who is using music and dance to take kids out of the ghetto and give them a better life. It's tonight's CBS 12 Cares. There are so many children in distress in Africa, and not just from illness, but also children who have no family, no food, no schooling, no home. We got a chance to meet one man who is using music to help keep many of those children off the streets and away from crime. <laughs> They are the boys who come from the street. Extreme poverty. Growing up in a 10 by 10 room with six or seven others and no electricity. Do this. We come and take kids like this, teach them music, inspire, inspiring music, so that they can we can also show the good side of the ghetto. Don Rousey is the music director for the Nimbani home of the Children's Village in Kenya. He believes music is therapy, turning children away from a life of crime and toward a life of purpose. If these kids don't get good education, if they don't get good role models, they'll end up uh, with an AK-47 by the time they're 14. These children are embracing their talent and forgetting their anger. Creating music and dance that has gotten them recognized around the world. Very soon when all African children will not have to beg, steal or borrow. If you'd like to help make a donation to help fund a music school for these children in Africa, you can email me. We'll link you there. Just go to CBS 12 website, cbs12.com and click on links. Chelsea Cross, CBS 12 News. Now, Chelsea is in New York City this week, moving into her new apartment because she starts college up there in the fall. That's why her voice sounded a little weird on her story there because we had to send it all the way back from New York City. But she's coming back next week to join us live here in the studio for her final report on her mission trip to Africa. That's next Wednesday for CBS 12 Cares. She's not allowed to go away to college. I we know. I know. That's what I told her. <laughs> she's hired. She's a busy gal. Huh? She, she is. is. Her report was great. And just yeah. like the kids were forming in that human jump rope, you know. Can you was... imagine? I would not want to be that person. <laughs> no, but they obviously are practicing a lot because yeah. they were fantastic. And she's in a much cooler place in New York City. Yeah, and she was cool complaining summer. to me on the phone the other day. She's like, yeah, I'm sweating. I just had to walk 10 blocks. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah. you don't know sweating. <laughs> I was sweating from my car to in That's here. That's right.